By the way, nakikita daw na may naglalabasa na. Later on, ha, meron po tayong paraffol. So, para sa mga those who would be staying, you might be winning one of our raffle, uh, raffle prizes. We'll be giving out three units of cell phones. At saka, may iba pa pong premyo. Okay, for our fourth topic, ang ating speaker po, is a former, former Leyeko 2 General Manager, former Philippine Market Electricity Corporation, former Mayor of Barugo, Leyte, Executive Board Member of the BSP Leyte Council, Angat Bay Fellow and National Organization for Women's Leaders. By the way, bago ko po tawagan siya, can I please request every woman here to please stand. Lahat ng babae, of all sizes, of all colors, di ba? Lahat ng babae, paano po yung pusong babae? Ah, kasama na daw po yung pusong babae. Ay. O, oh, di ba? Tumayo siya. Tumayo si... Tumayo si Chilsea Fernandez ng EFSU. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we are celebrating the Women's Month, Women's National Month celebration. Kung kaya't para po sa lahat ng dito, babae, palakpakan niyo ang inyong mga sarili. We are honoring every woman here right now of all sizes, colors, beauty, at ang puso, kahit puso babae, we are honoring you. And uh, let us keep on thriving. Let us keep on surviving. Kasi hindi ka babae lang, babae ka. Palakpakan po natin. Kasi na, na timing yung women's, national, national Women's Month celebration. Tapos magkabasa ko nung ano ni uh, Curriculum Vitae ni ex-mayor. Ano din, kasali pala siya sa member ng Angat by Fellow. So maraming salamat. You may now take your seats. And to discuss the provincial plans on tourism accreditation, palakpakan po natin the former mayor of Barugo, Leyte, and now a consultant for the province of Leyte, Ms. Maria Rosario C. Avestruz. Thank you, attorney. Uh, going back to sa mga kababaihan, actually, I know that you will be one with us in ending violence. Considering that today or this month is Women's Month, we would like to encourage women who would like to join with us in ending nag adlib mam anha in ending violence to be wearing red lipstick and then magpost kayo and then hashtag end violence and. Uh, we want to be one with the others that we want to end violence. Ayon, ha? Starting anytime within the entire days of the month of March, who would like to be with us, please wear red lipstick. Actually, kanina naka-red, kaya lang nakatatlong kape, nag-light na yung red. But anyway, maupay nga kulup, aton nga tanan. Kairuman, turug na, or aada lagi hapon an excitement, kay ano, kay matatapos na, finally, de ba? Again, mau pengak kulup, aton nga tanan. Pero I'd like to make some corrections lang on the introduction. Diri aku konsultan, bulig la aku kan mamaan. One way of extending gratitude to the many favors that had been extended to us. So, pro bono, I'm one with the rest of you too who would like tourism to be known and ultimately, later, to be top destination. Yon. Actually, ano, parang a while ago, uh, attorney made mention of accreditation. And in fact, yesterday, we have been hearing Gov. Ikot mentioning about accreditation. 
fortunate for us, on top of the Provincial Tourism Office of Ma'am Jisen, Ma'am Ann is there. Ma'am Ann, being a former mayor, who have the appreciation and the ability of listening, nakinig siya kahapon on the suggestion parang walang lituhan ba talking of accreditation. Hence, kaya nga, going back to our theme, dito, empowering late, gathering of ideas, contributions, ano pa yung last nun? Uh, gathering of ideas, contributions, solutions. So ngayon, pinakinggan ni Ma'am Ann, Yung discussion yesterday, in order to avoid confusions, readily, resilient yon ha, nag-adapt tayo kaagad kung what would be best suited for the province. Hence, readily, ganun yung mga with bright minds, nakaka-adapt at once. Ultimately, it will now be changed to late provincial tourism seal instead of accreditation. So you will no longer be hearing accreditation sa province instead of the granting of provincial late provincial tourism seal. Wala kayong mga kamay para palakpakan si Ma'am Ann on that concept. Siguro, you will ask, what will we get from getting the Leyte Provincial Tourism Seal? And in fact, going on the flow of this two-day tourism forum, in fact, first ever, parang it started with tapping, diba? If we go back, short of preview, diba? It started governor talking with the mayors and the rest of the tourism officer. You were with us yesterday morning para ma-onboard din the entire LGU. And then tourism officer, SK, SB, and together with our tourism stakeholders para na dito ma-align until ultimately towards leading Provincial Tourism Seal. So, dito tayo ngayon, what will you be looking at after this two-day forum? Diba? Siyempre, anong makukuha namin after sa pag-attend namin ng two-day forum? So, ito na tayo ngayon. The ultimately, little later, we will be in ending the session, pero may dala tayong excitement. We will tickle all of you. Let's start, what benefit would you get from the Provincial Tourism Zeal? Of course, di ba? In fact, kung nasundan ninyo kanina si uh, Professor Maricel, nung sabi niya, they have sponsored the MICE somewhere in Davao, dinala nila lahat yung mga event organizers nila. However, dito man, di ba, part of the thrust, of the provincial tourism is maging mais destination then si province. Kaya nga ito yung mga improvements and all. Now, sa mga event organizers, sa mga planners and all, if you will now be carrying the seal of the provincial tourism, you will be part in the promotion of the province. So madali na kayong ibenta. In other words, kung baga, as to networking, it would be easy for you na i-market dahil you're among on the top list na nabigyan ng seal ni province. So that would be one of the benefit that you'll get if ever you'll be having the provincial tourism seal. Next, you'll be included in the list of service providers during provincial events. Oftentimes, dito man din inihail than any other government facilities in the entire province of Leyte, pag you'll be carrying the provincial tourism seal, kasama kayo palagi. One for instance, 
siguro if I may have the liberty, Ma'am Ann, unahan na natin sila. This coming May 10 to 12, province of Leyte, go bold and daring, we will be hosting the 66th Annual National Council Meeting of the BSP. And roughly, we are expecting around 800 to 1,000 participants. And it will be held in this venue. Kaya nga, naisipan, don't conceptualize yung tourism seal. Doon yun kasi nakita natin na we were looking for transportation, we were looking for uh, tour destinations, and any all na isasama sa package dun sa National Council Meeting na ihield this coming May. So most probably, ito yung magiging take-off. Kaya, ma'am, ang dapat madaliin natin ano, yung pag-grant ng tourism seal para yun ang most probably magiging maiden activity natin talking of getting the tourism provincial seal. We will include in the list of service providers during bookings in provincial owned venues. Actually, ano, there are oftentimes ito rin ginagamit not only on government activities, diba? Sometimes may mga weddings and any other private events. Na like for instance, they'll be looking, may mga bisita sila, mga, for example, mga ninong, ninangs, tas gusto nila umuwi ng mga pasalubong and all. If ever they will be renting this venue, kasama kayo dun sa ipropromote. Diba? So, mas madali. In other words, kung baga, province is now spearheading and partnering with you para walang maiiwan according to mamaan. Yan yon. We will include you in the list of service providers of the provincial website. We will be discussing, expounding further later dito sa provincial website. And then, if ever yung establishment new will be uh, more or less meeting, I'll discuss a little later, uh, merong ilalagay na seal dun sa establishment nyo that that would be the official seal of the provincial tourism. Who can have the provincial tourism seal? Ito yung tanong, sino ang pwede? And then, paano? Sige, who can have the provincial tourism seal? Kahapon, di ba kung lahat tayo nakikinig, Arti Karen um, presented to us yung mga accreditation nila. And in fact, there was those primary uh, establishment, secondary, and all. However, talking of the provincial tourism seal, ultimately, kung sino yung mga nasa hotel, resort, apartment, and all, composing the ac uh, accommodation establishment, at kung narinig din nyo kanina yung travel loka, how can you be registered? Di ba simple lang, ikukunek lang kayo doon sa link, you start with filling up the application, and ultimately, they will give a feedback kung tanggap kayo or hindi. Di ba? Parang, di ba sa FB, oftentimes, pag sinabi relationship, ang tanong natin, complicated. So we do not want complicated na mga requirements talking up of coming up with the provincial tourism seal. So, initially, kasi nga sudden change of kahapon lang binago readily, parang, di ba, the power of listening. So, nag-adjust. So, what we have agreed together with Ma'am Ann and the Office of Provincial Tourism, ultimately, we will be coming up with a standard or criteria na mas madali nyong makumply in order for you to be given the provincial tourism seal. Diba? We will do away with dun sa complicated na term. Diba? We will be better friendly for you to be readily be able. And in fact, initial discussion, we will be coming up with the checklist and then whatever would that be? Basta, this is, as I have said, 
to tickle your mind and all kung what will you be expecting ultimately. Then, same with yung diniscuss yesterday with RD Karen and yung mga kasama. So, we will include all those accommodation establishments. And in fact, there are those of you around uh, in this afternoon session. And the next slide, kasama din yung travel and tours. Basta lahat ng tourism enterprise will be included and will be readily given access in coming up or in getting up the provincial tourism uh, seal. Various tourism facilities, uh, as discussed actually, more or less the same categories with what R.D. Karen mentioned yesterday, only that this time we will now be using tourism, Leyte Provincial Tourism Seal. So, tourism frontliners too. Uh, next slide, restaurant and cafes, all, spa, salon. Basta, babalikan ko yung konsepto na what Ma'am Ann would like, na walang may iwan sa inyo. Diba? So, next slide. Now, criteria in the granting of the provincial tourism seal. Initially, basic, syempre, dap Siyempre, dapat merong business permit and all. But as to kung ano ang others, ultimately, sabi ko nga kanina, this is just an initial discussion. We will be coming up and then we would welcome, in fact, if there are those that you would like to suggest kung what would be and can be included in the criteria or among the checklist in order for one tourism enterprise to be given the provincial tourism seal. So, sa documents, we start with the business permit and then ultimately, if a finalize then yon. Next slide. How can you get the provincial tourism seal? Uh, in fact, ano, kani, ngayon, siguro ma-appreciate natin Going back sa what happened dun sa pandemic, di ba? Naging creative, resorted manifestation today, we have the hybrid forum. May def, merong face-to-face, -face, and then kanina, via Zoom. So, yun yun ang parang what we get when we had pandemic. So, ngayon yun, parang making it readily accessible, though at present, the Leyte Provincial Tur Tourism has its website, pero mas i-conceptualize or i-construct siya na readily ma-address lahat. Bali, parang purely that would be dedicated for the granting of the Provincial Tourism seal. Na, kung baga, sabi pa nga natin, the theme of this gathering today, gathering of ideas, solutions, and opportunities, you can use and access the website of tourism.late at gmail.com kung meron kayong gustong i-input. And then, looking forward, our ways forward, after the initial discussion, the benefits that ultimately you'll get from getting a tourism provincial seal, uh, Nakatarget tayo kung baga all tourism enterprise will be gathered again, more or less same forum, to discuss on the details, checklist, the criteria on how can you get the Leyte Provincial Tourism Seal. And we're targeting the same first week of April. So, Bali, siguro when you go back to your respective LGU establishments and all, going back to reality, meron din kayong hihintayin na ultimately, you'll be receiving an invitation para we will be meeting again to come up with the finalized criteria or checklist in order for you to be able to get the lady Provincial Tourism Seal. And, basically, sabi pa nga natin at start, 
Yun lang yon to tickle every one of you. Kasi going back, di ba? In, to, in the two-day discussions, we've been hearing always that tourism is everybody's business. Kaya nga, sabi pa ni Ma'am Ann, dapat walang may iwan sa masama keyword of which collaboration and partnership. Siguro yun lang yun, later, masabi nga ni Konsihal Boyce, mas, much more we gain insights and inputs during the Q&A. Kasi there are those that are in your minds which most probably we fail to discuss but can be answered if ever raised through the open forum. And then, sa open forum then, we might as well be able to get inputs in na will be considered in coming up on the criteria and the checklist para ultimately, you'll be having the provincial tourism seal. So I'll just end up my short uh, presentation on the getting up of the provincial tourism seal with an anecdote. De ba kahapon, there was that one bold question. How are we sincere in this um, tourism enterprise uh, activity? Ano lang? Uh, I'd like to end up with an anecdote. Parang there was a boy na meron siyang lolo. This little boy was asked by the lolo. Sabi niya, sa, lolo, sa apo, I have a bird on my palm. Tanong niya sa apo niya, What do you think? Is the bird alive or dead? On my palm. Sabi ng apo, dahil mas uh, magaling siya kaysa sa lolo. Baka sa LNU siya nag-aral. Ah, sige, ibang... O hindi, lahat na ng school. Sabi ng apo, it depends. Kasi pag sinabi ko na yung ibon sa kamay ko is patay, di ba? I-release ng lolo yung hand niya for the bird to fly. Pag sinabi kong buhay, the lolo will squeeze his hand para mamatay yung ibon. And then what's the relevance of that anecdote dun sa tanong kahapon. Ibig sabihin, success of this activity and the ways forward depends on our respective hands. Mabuhay tayong lahat! See you later! Thank you! Andito na po tayo sa part that we will be having our open forum and we'll be giving opportunities for those who would like to ask Make clarifications as to what was presented. Our establishments situated in Tacloban City, can they apply for a provincial seal? Uh, actually, Tacloban is still within the map of the province of Leyte. Yeah, so just, definitely, I... kasama siya sa okay. granting of the provincial tourism seal, of course. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for that question. Thank you so much, Sir Jerry. Oh, especially that we have so many establishments situated in Tacloban City. Uh, that is the point of clarification. Kasama po. Of course, you can actually apply for this uh, provincial tourism seal. Any other questions? Yes. Maring Louis, di ba? <laughs> Hello. Hello po, good afternoon. Before I ask my question, I would like to thank Mayor Ann for... Uh, making it a lot easier for all the provincial uh, tourism stakeholders, a lot easier, no, yung for the accreditation po. So, kanina po, uh, Ma'am Marcel, during the discussion, um, we've just um, noticed na hindi po kasama doon yung sa amin, yung sa my uh, uh, organizers, event organizers. Now, my question is, are we um, eligible to apply for the uh, provincial tourism seal, and if we are, what are the requirements, po? Uh, as we have mentioned, babalikan ko the concept of Mam An is dapat walang may iwan sa tourism enterprise. 
In fact, talking of mice, hina-highlight din kahapon pa ni Ma'am Ann, binalikan din kanina, that we want also province to be a mice destination. In fact, kaya nga, uh, if we look at, I don't know if they were, you were able to visit the, the building sa likod na dating bodega, tapos makikita nyo ngayon parang walang remnants of being a bodega. Kaya nga tinawag siya, kung I may be allowed Ma'am Ann, parang complex, uh, convention complex na siya, may annex na tayo para kung baga lesser number of participants, pwede doon. I do know if they will be allowed to tour doon. <laughs> para at least you will have an idea na kung like for 100 feet, I don't know kung ilan ang capacity doon, more than a thousand din, pero kung baga, if you, you may opt the other side. So, kasa, kaya nga, the noble time yun ni Ma'am Ann because Leyte province would like also to be a mice destination. Then on the second question on what are the requirements, we're still on the process. Kaya nga, we have shown the link para if there are inputs. But basically, uh, we will be considering all. Kaya nga, meron tayong nakalagay doon na expectedly, mga first week of April, we will be gathering again all tourism enterprise so that you will be able to know what would be checklist or documents for you to comply in order for you to get the provincial tourism seal. Now which, basta I tell you, you'll get benefits from having that seal. Yun ang mas magpapagaan and maraming may tutulong na benefits. Thank you so much, Ma'am Marcel. Oo nga po, yesterday, napansin namin na kasama yung MICE events and this morning also. Kaso dun sa slide, dun lang po medyo nagkaroon ng confusion, hindi nakasama. Kaya we thought na maybe dun for the provincial tourism still, baka hindi nakasama yung sa MICE. Uh, in fact, siguro lang hindi nasama dun sa presentation, pero nung I've mentioned, I think, the second paragraph or phrase, Sabi ko kanina na nilink ko doon sa presentation ni Director, uh, ni Professor Maricel, yes, na sabi niya, when they hosted MICE and Davao, dala nila yung mga event organizers and all. Kasama din yung mga event organizers doon sa pagka uh, getting the Leyte Provincial Tourism Seal. Kasi isasama din sila na kung baga i-sell out or package in cases may mga uh, activities sila using the provincial, the government facilities in the province. Apo, last na lang po, Ma'am Ann. I'll just take this opportunity. Sana din po, no, if time comes na ma-accredit na po yung mga uh, MICE event organizer, sana mabigyan din po ng chance na ma-rotate, magkaroon ng rotation na, for example, in one event, itong organizer, then next sila naman, para mabigyan din ng exposure and ma-experience din nila na makapag-host ng event dito sa inyo. Thank you, Paul. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Siguro, uh, since this is the first, uh, well, event that uh, I have actually uh, initiated with the Provincial Tourism Office, um, at sabi ko nga, marami pa tayong events coming up, coming soon. Just, just over the lunch break, Somebody came up to me, it's a co-op, uh, a national co-op group, and uh, they came here to look at the place and committed septem sometime September another about a thousand delegates. So I'm expecting more bookings, hopefully, for our uh, late academic center, convention center. And uh, yes, we will uh, get in touch with other local organizers, event organizers. And uh, yeah, this is a good business opportunity, especially for the young people. You know, it's, it's, I enjoy also organizing. So I want everybody to be on the boat, to be on the tourism boat. And so that, you know, this is for all of us. Thank, uh, thank you so you very much, much. Ma'am. Thank you po. Any other question? Meron pa po ba? May question po kanina, anonymous na, na pumunta sa akin while having lunch. I think this is the best time to ask the same. Um, Ma'am Marcel, Ma'am Ann, um, regarding daw sa payment ng uh, taxes daw ng mga businesses, especially that katatapos pa lang daw ng pandemic, would there be any policies or would there be any actions from the province daw in considering the payments 
ng mga taxes ng mga businesses daw. Kasi syempre, lugi daw sila the past few years. Tapos ngayon, parang, parang ngayon palang nag-ano. Opo. Hindi lang po niya dinisclose kung saan mun munisipyo siya. Hindi rin po siya nagpakilala sa akin. Entertain ko lang siya habang kumakain. Um, I don't have uh, any knowledge on the business permit no at this point kasi I'm no longer with a, uh, a municipal organization. But maybe Concihal Boy si Roca of Palo can uh, share no because he's still uh, the councillor of Palo. I'm not an expert, by, uh, but I am the chairman for uh, business trade and industry in the municipality of Palo. So uh, during the pandemic, you no. Know, ang taxes, di ba? They don't have the... Some have the tax holidays, Mayor, but um, there was a Bayanihan Act that shoulders every um, business establishment in terms of paying taxes. And as of uh, to date, I think um, it will be the LGU, the local government unit, who can actually assess as to the, uh, the taxes for... for for businesses. In Palo, actually, we had our investment plan already for this year, and I think we have uh, lowered down uh, some taxes for since the administration of former Mayor An, because of we want to emphasize that Palo is a business-friendly municipality. So it would be always in the local government unit. Siguro lang, attorney, in addition to what yes, Ma'am Ann and Concihal Boise have mentioned, um, experience being a former mayor too. Actually, every local government unit, they have the autonomy of coming up with sangguni and bayan resolutions, extending on deadlines, especially mga real property taxes. It is originated from the respective LGUs. The Sangguniyan Bayan can come up with a resolution extending deadlines, granting uh, holidays and all. Tapos, that Sangguniyan Bayan resolution is just being endorsed to the Sangguniyan Panlalawigan. Kumbaga, it originates from the respective local government unit because it depends on the situation of respective LGUs. Hence, the idea, idea of coming up with tax holidays, extension, deadlines in the real property taxes, it is from the respective local government unit. Thank you so much, Sir Boise and Mama Sel. Yes, sir. We have another question. Please state your name. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mama and Mama Sel. Halahat po. Um, in behalf of the private sector, accommodation side. So, um, I would like to expound lang that I'm very happy and uh, having this kind of first forum natin in tourism, no? Kasi narinig ko from the government, uh, from the governor and then Ma'am Ann that you're taking very serious in terms of the tourism here in Region 8. So, I think all of us in the room accommodation that we need kailangan namin to so it is the best time for all of us siguro that we have to collaborate and of course coordinate and need our your help also how we do align kasi basically we just having i think that's the first step to take off on the tourism side so most probably um, for this kind of uh, avenue or occasions that we have r right now, I think I believe that we will must uh, have our collaboration also with some of the uh, operators in accommodation sector that we're not really having to stop but moving forward. Like with us in Oriental, just we're having to share with you, since we're having this kind of rebump, we continue having our renovation, rehab. So we're having one, the other building is already done, the three cluster of building. And then one of the building that we have close to the front office, it's locked down. It's gonna be one and a half month renovation projects namin para matapos. 
in preparation, preparation natin for the coming that we have something like this. Kasi by May, we're having more guests coming in. So, for us, we need to prepare ahead of time. Okay, um, regarding with the um, accreditation, because I would like to ask also from my co-partners operator in accommodation sector, um, Oriental is only one having the star, but guys, I need you to be part of this one to move forward. Why? It's because uh, the, it should be benefited for the national and international marketing program. We're using the Tourism Promotion Board. You'll not be included if you're not having this kind of accreditation. Number two, you're not be having a, uh, eligible to be part of the, um, the Philippine uh, Travel Associations. So you're having this kind of accreditation as well. So it's the mileage of our marketing side. It's going to be worldwide. Because if you're star rated, it should be a worldwide that the Department of Tourism kasama na tayo sa listahan. That would be the same as the program of the province. So we'll support that uh, with that kind of program. Um, and it's very nice also that we came up with this kind of uh, accreditation that we have in the province. I just remember when I working in Bohol, it's a very nice formulation of the tourism uh, approach natin doon. Somehow, we're looking at and we're looking after this kind of arrangement. Just only one recommendation for this kind of approach, um, but it's the same what we can do. There will be an alignment. Just like in the Department of Tourism, before we do the, uh, the listing, we have the pre-assessment, meaning per um, stakeholder or like accommodation, destination, there will be a guidelines pre-assessment, meaning yourself, you have to assess if you have qualified with that kind of guidelines or that checklist that you have. So most probably that we need to align for that kind of thing, no? Kasi yun ang ginagawa ng DOT. That is why for those the requirements of the DOT, we pass, we got the star rated, it's because we do the pre-assessment in our own self kung ano yung pre-positioning of our property. That would be all, ma'am, and we're looking forward. That would be the best here in Region 8. I'm helping, I'm always promoting not only my property, my, my hotel, but it's every one of us. We're working together. We're not a competi competing each other, but complementing because we have our unique uh, selling point in every property and our services that we can give to our, to our tourists and everyone. Thank you. Uh, may dadag actually, uh, siguro I failed to mention a while ago while I'll ha I was having my presentation. But initially, we have discussed with Ma'am Ann, talking of the granting of the Provincial Tourism Seal, yung mentioned by Anito na dapat, uh, it should be validated and all. In fact, uh, kanina, I have mentioned na mag apply There are not all... In fact, sabi ni Ma'am Ann, not necessarily din na mag apply Voluntary yung application for the granting of or for the getting of the provincial tourism seal. seal. Kasi nga, we will be basing two on the reviews and then kung mga word of mouth on the performance like the accommodation, the destination, uh, banking on the experience na sinasabi kanina ni uh, Professor Maricel. It depends on the services that you have rendered and all. So that would be the basis of say, tourism office ng province will be visiting your establishment or destination for you to be granted of the seal. So not necessarily that you really have to apply. Pero pwede rin mag-apply. Pero much better if others would recommend for you or si province mismo ang pupunta dun sa area nyo for you to be getting the provincial tourism seal. In other words, the challenge again rests upon all of us. Yon. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Lorling Brilio from Camp Bristoff. Um, 
question lang po. We're on our way of um, re renewing our accreditation with the OT. And there's an accreditation for the provincial seal. Possible po ba yon na maging isa or somewhat maging connected yung dalawa to make it easier for us? Maybe let us not look at the provincial seal as an accreditation. Okay. No? Kasi as I was watching yesterday, uh, Regional Director Karen dis uh, discussed the accreditation of uh, the Department of Tourism. I think they're looking at uh, a national uh, national accreditation system. What we are looking here in the in that, at the level of the province is that it, we are not going to be as tedious as, as, as that, no? Um, we will have some standards sa kumbaga kung ano lang, na, ano, kung ano lang interest ng province. Um, say for example, we went to Biliaba, no? Uh, kagaya na sinabi ni Mayor Marcel that you don't have to apply. We went to Biliaba, me and my husband, and we stayed in Hotel 1581. And honestly, if the owner is here, I would like to commend the owner because the hotel is very clean, the staff is very friendly, the hotel is 24-7, and then we had a very good breakfast, very fast service, very polite uh, people, and um, we, we had the... I mean, for a place, siguro, in fairness, um, that I am not familiar, I was really surprised. No, it was very clean, speak and span. Lalo na ako pag naglalakad ako yung isang kamay ko nakaganyan kasi naghahanap ako ng alikabok. Probably if we had the provincial seal then, I would have probably recommended the uh, provincial tourism office, can you go and look at the place? Maybe that can be a place that we can include in our list of uh, those establishments with a seal. Because ang kaibahan siguro nito is that in DOT, if you're accredited, you will be advertised by DOT. Pero dito sa atin, if you have the seal, you will be uh, advertised from the website of the province. Uh, second difference is that if you do not have the provincial seal, it's okay, you can have your website. DOT will promote you. But if I was a tourist from the UK, I want to go to Leyte. I've heard of Leyte. I'll go to the province of Leyte website. Oh, they have tourism, I click tourism. Oh, they have hotels, I click on hotels. But you don't have the seal, you will not be seen on the website of the Leyte province. So that is probably what we are trying uh, to do in terms of promoting you. We want you to be easily seen in the national when they look at Leyte province. And then when you are in our website, it also gives that certain sense of assurance to the people who's clicking, who's looking at you, that you have the recommendation or, or endorsement of the, of the province of Leyte. When you click that example, yung, yung uh, hotel ninyo, or Camp Biscoff, oh, they have a resort here in, in a place named Dulag. We click, it will automatically go to your either website or if you are in Agoda, in Traveloka, that will Im immediately directly go to you. So it, what we are just doing is we will just make it easier for incoming tourists to find you through the provincial website. Follow-up question po. Yes. Is it possible that an establishment will gonna have a provincial seal without a DOT accreditation? That is possible, possible. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Death. Thank you, Ma'am Lorleen. Any other question? Suke. <laughs> Sorry. Sir, I okay. need to Suke. Uh, Ma'am, just to add up lang kanina, there will be a concern by the academe. So, I'll just to address lang, um, well, you have a good uh, direction what you are looking at for your future, no? Um, sinasabi nila kanina kung may available um, future jobs for them. Um, we are gathered here and I believe that we can fly high as we can. It's because we're having this forum. By then, for the TO, uh, the tourism officer, uh, the province, that would be a big help also for formulating this, uh, uh, this event to be more successful. Once our region 
it should be a destination, not part of the top five. Or ngayon, nasa, saan ba tayo? Kung papasok tayo sa top five destination, then the investor will coming back here. They will invest in ours, in our region. By then, the opportunity of the jobs will be more, more than what we are expecting. Right now, in the process of rehab, or in the rebump on the tourism natin sa ngayon from the pandemic, uh, actually, cutting tayo sa manpower. Uh, that would be the reality. We're taking into the real face of the scenario in the tourism sector. We only have, like Oriental, right now is 45%. If the tourism will be boasting again, by then, there will be 100%. Right now, 45%. Let's say 70 plus ngayon. So 45% lang yan. How much more the rapid hiring for if there will be a tourism here in Region 8? So most probably, a lot of opportunity for you. And then, there will be, kung galing ng Oriental, umaalis. Saan sila? Nagbabar ko. Sino yung susunod yan? Papasok yan. It's kayo po. So, there's always an opportunity for you. It's not uh, a waste of your time, pero may magpapalagyan kayo, lalo na kung tataas ulit o masisigla ulit ang turismo natin sa Region 8. So, yun yun na mabibigay ko sa inyo. Kasi, um, we are proud also that coming from the Oriental is very competitive. We're going outside the box of the Oriental property of the Oriental. You're e going up, uh, nas sumakay ng barko, nag upload pupunta ng Cebu, and somehow other places also in Region 8, may mga position na din sila. So, yun be so kind of very competitive yung tourism natin in Region 8. We continue to, to share our knowledge and then shaping up our grassroots natin. And we are more than happy to help and grow with that also. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Anito. Parang assurance yun na sa akadim, de ba? It was actually an assurance that you guys may pupuntahan kayo. If if mas magpatuloy po that we are actually thriving, that our provincial tourism would boom. Okay, may mga tanong pa po ba? Are there any questions, clarifications, insights? Ayan. Thank you so much po for all of uh, for those who asked their questions. Thank you also to our panelists for asking the clarificatory questions with regards to the provincial tourism seal. But now, are you ready? Ayan, ready, ready na po si Mama Ann. Kasi ang daming tanong, what is our plan? After ng first tourism forum, what are our ways forward? Ladies and gentlemen, begin po natin ng masigabong palapak to present the ways forward. Our tourism consultant, palagi po sinasabi, the brain of the first ever uh, late tur tourism forum. Ang rason kung bakit tayo gathered today. Ladies and gentlemen, the wife of our governor and our tourism consultant, Ma'am Francis Ann B. Pitilia. Okay pa ba tayo? Ha? Is everybody still okay? Sige, meron tayong third day, ha? De joke lang yun. <laughs> but anyway, um, siguro I am, uh, I, I cannot probably just uh, explain how I feel right now. No, I'm just really so overwhelmed. I'm so happy that uh, I am really getting positive feedbacks from different people, from different sectors uh, who has joined this two-day forum. And uh, I look forward to having more discussions and collaborations with the sectors as well because I know that uh, we are all excited after these talks that we have just, uh, list, uh, that we have just uh, listened from no, in these past two days. What's next after today? No? I know we are very excited when we go home to our provinces, I'm sorry, to our municipalities, when we go back to our establishments. I know we are excited because we have also learned a lot from the speakers who has shared their knowledge on tourism. Uh, ways forward, I think there is really a lot to do. 
there's really a lot to do here in terms of our tourism industry. And probably the challenge to all of us is that, my gosh, the tourists will not only interact with me, will not only interact with the hotels, will not only interact with the tour guides, but the tourists will interact with all of us. The tricycles, the tindahan, the stores, the salespersons, and even the police, the janitors, the cleaners, the street cleaners, even yung nagbebenta ng uh, mango shake. That is really a great, a, cha that is a great challenge for us because we should not only be changing the way we have done things in the past years, but we should be able to impart this knowledge that we have to all the people around us. We make sure that our tourism experience is authentic. And this is, this is actually where the, the activities and the experience should be available as well to the tourists. Bakit, why am I connecting authenticity and availability? Because some experiences, no, um, fiesta for example, they only happen once a year. And when they go back, they will tell their relatives, oh, you have to go to Leyte because they have a lot of, they have really a fun fiesta. Kailan the next fiesta is going to be on the following year. We cannot create a fake fiesta. We cannot create a fake festival. We cannot create a fake event. No, it has to be authentic. So that's why when we say authentic, what do we really have? Yun totoo talaga, yun totoo. So you have the paraghimuhin binagol. They can probably go there because they make binagol almost every day. We can go to the weavers in Bye Bye because they make baskets and bag every day. We can go to your destination because you are there every day. Now, I would want to, before I close, I would want to go back to the concerns from the audience during the open forum. Siguro, just to let you know that these concerns are being noted. So we, your concern is uh, gender inclusivity. We have mentioned that here in Leyte, to a lot of establishments, they have already uh, opened their doors and considered and make make gender inclusivity as part of their daily operations. Kung meron mang hindi pa ang iba, maybe we can uh, uh, consider why and then through future discussions and collaborations, we can come up with ano ba talaga kung sila, because maybe of some, some, some concerns, we will probably set expectations, no? But I guess we generally here in Leyte is already adopting gender inclusivity. That includes people who are vaccinated or not. That was also raised yesterday. So that will be part of the discussion. And I think it was kind of cleared na kahapon, no? That when they... When some establishments are not accepting people who are not vaccinated, it is their concern of that particular person. But then again, some things also can be done. Bawal ang, bawal ang humindi. There should be a way. Sabi nga, maybe some waivers, but maybe we can discuss this later on. But maybe we can discuss ways forward on how this issue can be handled. The concern of the students, jobs. Jobs when they graduate. Lalo na that we have just gone through pandemic and a lot of establishments was affected. And they are still at the point of rising up. But also, Ma'am, Dr. Maricel also mentioned that you students should also look at improving yourself. When Dr. Maricel mentioned that a while ago, I just remembered I have a friend who has a hotel in Bohol. A few years back when he, she opened the hotel in Bohol, she closed it after a few months. Sabi ko, bakit mo sinara yung hotel mo? Because 
the quality, because it's a five-star hotel, the quality of the people that they are looking for is not available in Bohol. The, sabi ko talaga, sabi niya, and we kept on training and training and training them. Hindi talaga nila pa makuha. So what they did, they got people from Manila and, and Cebu. And some people from LNU and EBSU. They brought them to Bohol. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Palakpakan natin ang LNU and EBSU. And sabi niya, an ganito. May dumi dyan. Sabi niya, oh, bakit manubito? Ang sabi nung employee niya from Bohol. San po, ma'am? Ito, bakit madumi? So, you know, the, the quality that she is looking at, hindi kasalanan din naman nila. Maybe the training, kulang. Pero hindi, we cannot blame also the workers there. Eh. So I guess we have to up the level of training. We have to up the level of quality of tourism graduates. But in the end, it boils down to you. Because kahit anong pukpok, anong gawin ng school ninyo, if you yourself do not want to level up yourselves, wala rin mangyayari. No? And of course, later on, hotels, five-star hotels, if they say this is the quality that we want, this is the quality that they will get. Kung hindi kanila kunin, it is not their fault. Maybe it's you. So let us look at ourselves. To the hotels and accommodations, I remember I, have, I had a few meetings with hotels and accommodations na in the past few days. And um, I asked them, who amongst you are re registered in online platforms like Traveloka, Agoda? And I'm glad that there are already establishments who are there, who can be found there. However, there are some who said, Mom, we canceled our uh, enrollment in the online apps. Yung iba naman, ayaw namin. Why? Because, sabi nga ni Sir Christian, they put in 15%. So if your price is only this much, they put in 15%, and nagmamahal kayo. And then, ang sabi ng mga accommodation natin, nagiging mahal tuloy kami, ma'am. Kaya hindi kami nakakakuha ng bookings. I would want probably to say that even if you do not get bookings on those online platforms, you still put your bookings. If you want direct call to you, you can still continue doing that. You can have as much channel, as, as much as possible, so you can get the most number of clients as much as possible. Those who will call you, you can offer lower rates because maybe they are just the locals or maybe within the Philippines. Okay lang yun. Capture nyo sila. Kunin nyo sila. But those who are outside of the Philippines and who can only access through online platform, kunin nyo rin sila. Bahala na kung mahal sila, kung mahal ang price nyo online, it's okay. Eventually, somebody will get you. You know, sometimes, even I, when I buy my ticket, I buy online. Tapos, I also check sa, example, orbits.com, I buy my ticket orbits. And then, oh, ganito ba ang presyo pala ngayon ng, ng airline na to? I'll check, go to the website of the airline. Sometimes, the website of the airline is cheaper. I don't buy there. I buy on the website. I have a choice. Sometimes, it is cheaper on the online platform. Bakit? Because some online platforms, what they do, bago pa magpasko, bumili na sila ng several rooms doon sa hotel. And then they can actually also put down the, put down the, the price. But the price that they bought from that hotel for a future booking, nasettle na nila doon sa hotel. So, it's actually not bad if their, your price becomes higher on the platform. It actually gives you a more channel, a bigger window to a global tourism market. So I suggest that you continue and take advantage 
of these online platforms like Traveloka. And I'm glad to hear at Traveloka, wala silang minimum bookings and wala rin silang um, fee when uh, joining. I'm not familiar with the other platforms. But I guess if you have any more questions, maybe again in one of our future meetings and uh, uh, talks, maybe we can have some clarifications. Transportation facility is also a concern. And apparently, I asked my husband, I told my husband about the transportation concerns. Sabi niya, actually, there's already an ongoing um, planning of, an, an, an ongoing uh, planning of the master plan of transportation here palang. But this is, I think, will cover only the municipalities within Palo, Tanawan, Tolosa. And alang-alang yan Santa Fe. So, dito na lang muna tayo. There is going to be a master plan coming up. They're just waiting for the group to submit their proposal. And lastly, the concern of all, how sincere is the province in tourism? Baka pagkatapos itong two days, wala na. Wala na kami ni Ma'am Marcel and ni SB Boys and ni Jacine. As I said, and, and I'm glad that uh, they played the speech of Governor Petilia a while ago during the lunch break. The governor, including myself, and that's why I volunteered my time, is equally uh, dis um, sad of our tourism uh, industry here. Because even our friends who know us in Manila, they, when we ask them to come to Leyte, they, will, they always ask me, Anong na meron sa Leyte? Anong gagawin namin sa Leyte? So, we are as excited as you to work and bring the Leyte tourism to a brand new level. We come home, we go home with all of the new learnings that we have uh, gathered in the past two days. And I'm, uh, and you can assure, you can be assured that I will be there with the tourism office. Mayor Marcel has also volunteered her time. And if we will probably have a meeting with the municipal tourism officers, are you okay with that? Like a follow up meeting with the municipal tourism officers, yes? So that if you have more concerns, more detailed concerns, then we can discuss that one. Ano naman ang commitment ni Governor sa inyo? Pabalik. Of course, number one, we will see what trainings that the, the Department of Tourism Region 8 has, because it was outlined yesterday by RD Karen, that they have several trainings. We will see what trainings is going to be conducted uh, moving forward, and we will give some sort of a channel to announce you where these trainings are and what these trainings are. Uh, let us take advantage of these trainings because um, Department of Tourism is organizing all of this for all of us. Kung hindi tayo mag-attend, sayang lang. So let us take advantage of all of these trainings. We will make Leyte a MICE destination. That is one thing that we will be seriously working on. The province of Leyte will be the driver to make Leyte a MICE destination. But we will also need you to make this also a success. The Provincial Tourism Seal, will, we will help you in the promotion of your establishments, of your services. You will be in the provincial events, lalo na dito. Whenever there are some bookings, we will already give them your name, your contact number. Provincial conducted events, and uh, provincial-owned venues. Kasi hindi lang ito later on magiging venue ng MICE. Probably in the MacArthur Landing, 
probably we can probably allocate a space in the provincial capital complex because there's a big big space there it will be like probably a garden setting probably the old capital building can be also a mice destination so you will be included on provincial own venues uh, events and uh, also discussing also with our um, with Mamjisin, we will be also updating our provincial tourism development plan, and I'm sure there are also some municipalities whose provincial tourism development plan is not yet updated, and uh, we will also find a way maybe on how we can collaborate and we how we can have a harmonized provincial tourism plan if that will benefit all of us. So those are the things that we can assure you that the province is going to do for you moving forward. Pero kung kami, meron kami ring ibibigay sa inyo, sabi ko nga ito, collaboration, what do we expect from you? What can we expect from you? Siguro ngayon pa lang, let us see our services. If you can improve it already, the individual tourism experience, the individual tourism establishments, on what you can do, improve na natin. Let's start. Let's start it as soon as we leave this hall. We also urge you to take and embrace technology. Let us adapt technology. I would like to share to you anong sinabi rin ni Dr. Maricel. Sabi niya, Ma'am Anne, bilib ako sa inyo. This is your first late tourism forum and you're already using QR code. Kami sa Manila, we are just starting to use our QR code. And kayo, gumagawa na kayo. So, let's uh, be, give a round of applause to our late tourism office because sila ang gumawa nito. Especially the pre-registration, ano? Bilib na bilib si Ma'am Maricel sa atin. And lastly, as we end this two days event, I would like us to leave this room, to leave this convention center, and be latest tourism ambassador. Let us put tourism in our hearts. Let us put late tourism as a top priority moving forward because in the end, it is us, it is our name, it is our legacy, it is our heritage that we, that we are going to present to the world moving forward. So to the new late tourism ambassadors, congratulations to everyone and see you later. Thank you very much. wonderful experience and a wonderful memory because this is the first and you say first pag first po talagang inaalala po yan kung kaya maraming 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 salamat po sa lahat ng nang attend i hope everyone learned something from our two-day activity this has been your host i am attorney barbet joanne magalona badokdok reposan maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat and Mag-ingat po tayo. See you around! See you later!